Hello everybody, Akurai here, and welcome back to another, uh, Don't Start video. Um, in this video, we're not doing tips or anything, um, we're just going to be talking, and it might be a little bit of a shorter video than most of my other videos that you have seen me do, um, mostly this is just because of the fact that today, we're not going to be doing a normal, um, tips video or anything, this is just going to be a normal, uh, let's talk. And a small, short little let's talk about um, common mistakes and issues that I see um, see when people are playing uh, Don't Starve. Um, rather it be Don't Starve Together or Don't Starve the Original. Um, some of these issues are just like small common things that, you know, you will see um, uh, often enough or just, mm, just by chance. Um, not all the time are these issues going to be predominant. But, most of these issues are just a small thing that, um, I've, I've observed and I've seen over time, and, you know, for me, it's just, like, one of those things where, for me, it's, like, it does get on my nerves, it does annoy me from time to time, and it does, um, put me on a bit of a, you know, rock, if you will, on what's happening. But, um, yeah, let's talk about some of these small issues, um... One of the main issues that I've seen in game, in game, and especially this is more in Don't Starve Together than Don't Starve the Original, is over, um, over harvesting or over, over, um, you know, basically over, um, overstocking. Um, overstocking is never a good thing. Um, I would not recommend you, um, ever try to overstock or over. Or, um, you know, or basically, you know, basically, you know, just gather more items than you need. Um, again, this is a small issue, but it's a common issue I see in Don't Start Together is people overdo it when it comes to stocking up and preparing for winter. Um, most of the time, as I've said, and if you've been following my tips videos at, my tips videos at all, videos at all, then, um, you know... I always say, gather what you need. And this is true. Gather as much as you need. Don't try to overstock. Don't overdo, you know, overdo the, um, for instance, overdo the, um, you know, overdo the actual, you know, stocking up on food or whatever. Um, you know, only stock what you need. Most of the time, um, what you need is just, like, about 15, maybe 20, um, Berry bushes, about 20 to, um, or so, or so grass tufts, and about, um, 15, uh, 15 to 20, um, stout, or, um, saplings, saplings or twiggy trees, it all depends, um, but, you know, about that much, and that's really all you need to survive winter, sure, it seems like a small bit of food, sure, it seems like a small amount, but once you become a proficient in cooking meals and, um, and of course, um, you know, and of course, um, you know, providing yourself with, um, crockpot meals. And once you know, learn what crockpot meals give you the best, um, overall food, it becomes extremely easy to, um, to manage with just 15 berry bushes, um, 15 to 20 uh, grass tufts and 15 to 20 saplings or twiggy trees. Um, now, of course, if you're trying, and this also leaves you room to expand. And what do I mean by expand? Well, there's a point where eventually, as you create your mega base, you may also create a summer base. The summer base, of course, as you may or may not know, is your go to place. To ensure, to ensure that you can protect yourself during the, the harsh summer. And of course, you can also make sure that, that none of your crops or whatever, um, or whatever get destroyed during the summer. Everything you built up basically doesn't get destroyed. That's basically what the mega, what the mega, the second base is for. Now, there are plenty of ways to build a secondary base. One of the main ways, of course, is to, um, is to end up, of course, um, being, going underground, and living in an underground base. A second way, of course, is to just go to, for instance, a desert base or whatever, or make a desert base or whatever, 
Um, you know. But like I said, common problems that I've seen is the fact that people only focus on the Vega base. And the Vega base, while incredibly large, and supposedly supposed to be incredibly large, you know, the Mega Base shouldn't be your all year round um live in position. You should um be willing to, you know, live in for instance a um live in for instance a um a underground base. Um in an underground base you'll almost never have to worry about about the sun burning your crops or anything like that. You never have to worry about having an overabundance of of heat. Um, you know, underground living or, um, cave living during the summer is probably some of the best way to survive. But, on the off engine, you want to fight Dragonfly or something like that, um, then you'll want to build a base where nothing can burn. In other words, you'll want to go somewhere where you're going to create a small secondary base, a summer habitat, a summer, summer living area, if you will. And, in that area, of course... It doesn't really matter what you bring. It's just the essentials. A.K.A. a crockpot, probably an alchemy engine, and, I mean, most likely, a few ice machines. A few ice machines and maybe 10 to 15 uh, berry bushes. Berry bushes, um, 10 to 15 saplings, 10 to 15 grass tufts. I mean, you know, if you survived over a year, then it should be fairly easy to survive in a summer base. But, um, yeah, with that all being said, you know... This has just been my short common mistakes, common errors, um, you know, video. Um, these are just some things that I've seen. One of the main other things is, of course, cooking and whatnot, um, and just getting started. But, of course, if you've been following my How to Get Started guide, it shouldn't be that hard. You um, should already have a good enough idea of how to survive and whatnot in, um, in Don't Starve. Um, but yeah, with that being said, um, <clears throat> thank you everyone for joining me on this short video. Hopefully this has helped you understand some of the common errors, common mistakes, and common things that I've seen. Um, I guess one of the last things I should mention is overeating. Don't worry about your food or your hunger. Um, 9 out of 10 times you will survive. Um, another common mistake is sanity. I know a lot of people don't like playing on the edge of their sanity bar. People hate having problems where their sanity is going to be um, bad. But, I mean, don't worry too much about your sanity. Your sanity is easily regained with um, with things like like garland. Um, in the case of, um, you know, Wolfgang uh, or uh, Maxwell, your sanity will regain all the time. But, um, you know... Like, don't worry too much about your stats. A lot of times, the only stat you'll have to worry about is your food. And if your hunger goes below, mm, I would say midway. If you're playing someone like Wolfgang, then just keep your, your hunger around 100 or so, I think. Um, but with that being said, I mean, thank you everyone for joining me on this sale. Thank you for watching this sale. If you enjoyed the sale, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Get subscribed. Hit that bell notification because I know you want to know when my next video drops next. Um, thank you everyone for joining me on this video. I go live on Twitch with some competitive game or something at www.twitch.tv slash Um, You can join me there live where I'm going to be playing a competitive title or just something, um, you know, something. Um... Variety like Fallout 76 or whatever. But thank you everyone for joining me on this sale. Thank you for being here. And until the next one. This is Akrai. Uh, <clears throat> signing out. And saying. <clears throat> farewell everyone.